do you approach test case development right now this is a very common question whether you are a fresher or you have been working in the industry for a while the approach is not going to change more or less it is going to remain the same so the basic approach that any tester or any member in the testing team will follow for the test case development is the first thing is to go through and analyze the requirements right so first point that you see here is to analyze the requirement and when we say analyzing the requirement you will be going through the user stories epics understanding what the business flow looks like and everything and then based on that analysis you will then start coming up with the scenarios so the second step which is basically preparing the test scenarios by applying different test case design techniques so test case design techniques uh, whichever are applicable you will use the maximum of those test case design techniques for example equivalence partitioning boundary value analysis decision table testing or uh, the, the state transition testing so all of these techniques can be applied in a particular specific scenario based on the analyzed requirement right so when you will apply these test case design techniques your test case or test scenario preparation will become more easy and it will be more efficient and will provide you better coverage so that's the second step in the test case development process first is analysis second is preparation the preparation work starts so you go ahead and do the test scenarios and then you elaborate those test scenarios right so you can say in the second step as well test conditions as well basically anything that can be tested and similar thing is the scenario and, and we say when we say scenario it is more of a end-to-end -end sort of flow or or a not exactly end-to-end -end, but more of combined flow that is more to the test condition right so test condition could be a very granular testing aspect of the module say for example you are going to test the calculator then you are just testing the addition functionality right so 2 plus 2 is 4 that is the condition right one of the test condition multiplication is one of the test condition but then when you are going to do the calculator or the scenario of addition multiplication division subtraction together uh, that forms a complete sort of a scenario right so it could be two operations combined together can be a scenario three operations combined together can be a scenario right so depending on what level of coverage you want you will go ahead with the scenario now many projects you won't be going into too much detail of the test conditions you might be depending on the requirement of the project and the budget that the project has set regulatory requirement as well test condition first and then scenarios and then coming up with the elaborated test cases for those conditions and test scenarios so that's the basic third step wherein you elaborate test scenarios into the test cases so this is the basic flow of the test case development it doesn't matter you are a experienced person you have been working in the industry for a while this is the core process that you will be following or if you are a fresher this is basically what you need to understand and explain to the interviewer when somebody asks Ask you what will be your approach for the test case development analysis preparing the scenarios based on the analysis and then elaborating those scenarios into the test cases and in test cases you will be requiring the test data and everything and that all test data and all of the details that are required will be anyways be part of the analysis so when you will do analysis you will come up with all those details so you are able to go ahead and uh, document the test cases okay so that's the approach for the test case development